first we need to enable the USB debugging to do that simply tap on settings then tap on all settings over here then scroll down until you see about phone tap on about phone then you will see this build number tap this seven times like this until it says you are now a developer tap on back and then tap on developer options then check mark this USB debugging tap on ok back and then scroll up until you see security tap on security and then check the unknown sources option like this tap on ok so you have now enabled the USB de debugging as well as you have checked the unknown sources option So now guys we will be flashing up the Chinese firmware on the Geoni E3. So to do that we need to have these two files. First of all we need to have the Chinese firmware itself. So it will look something like this and it will be in a zip folder. So the next thing we need is SP flash tool. So I will have these links uh, to download these both files in the description down below. So you can download it from there. Now what we need to do is uh, first of all to organize these stuff we need to make a folder. I recommend it and I always do this so I'm just make, making a folder called Chinese firmware okay and I'll be putting uh, I'll be extracting it to that folder okay And do note that do note that uh, the Chinese firmware is required to flash because of the custom ROMs. So if we need to flash custom ROMs, we need to have the Chinese firmware. It's recommended to do so. And uh, also, it uh, on the Chinese firmware, most of the RAM, ROMs are compatible. So it's very easy to install these ROMs on the Chinese firmware. Now I'll be uh, putting this SP flash tool in this folder. Okay. So uh, here we have the Chinese firmware and here we have the SP flash tool now what we'll do is uh, if you can see my phone isn't connected right now uh, now we'll be opening up SP flash tool and right clicking on this flash tool and clicking on run as administrator yes and uh, now uh, when this window loads up this is the smartphone flash tool now uh, we have to click here on scatter loading then uh, just go ahead and uh, select your firmware open the firmware folder and then select the uh, this file mt6589 android scatter emmc and open it over here then just make sure that everything is tick, tick marked everything is selected over here just make sure this and after that uh, do not do anything to the phone right now uh, just unlock your phone then switch off it power off wait for it to turn off like this and when it's turned off uh, you need to pull out the battery so I'll be taking out the battery now it's difficult for me to take out the battery like this so I'll be using this uh, USB cable take out the battery for three seconds one two three and then reinsert it again now uh, do note that you do not need to power on your phone now what you need to do is before connecting your phone just look at the computer now uh, just click over here firmware upgrade now when it says searching now what you need to do is connect your phone like this in switch off mode and uh, like this only so I'll be connecting it right now and I have connected it now so now it will detect my phone and flash the Chinese firmware now as you can see the process has just begun and it will take some time and we have to wait for some time so when it's done I'll be right back here
so now you can see a green ring over here so that means the process is now finished and uh, we have successfully flashed up the Chinese pump now what we need to do here is just click on this cross and then this cross button and then just disconnect our phone so let me just disconnect it and then just power it on so as you can see over here the phone is currently turning on and first of all it will uh, take some time for the first boot boot uh, so just wait for a little bit of time so i just received an haptic feedback and that that indicates that the phone is turning on and isn't stuck in a boot loop and yes i can see this chinese font right now and the phone is on so i'll just click over here back and uh, just click over here then what you need to do is uh, over here you can see everything is written in chinese and uh, it's very uh, difficult to understand everything now i'll just decrease the brightness over here so you guys can see okay just a little bit yes so if you can see everything is now written in chinese language so to change that just go ahead into settings and go to all settings scroll down until you see this icon this one this A symbol then click over here then change to change the language click over here and select English and yes the language is now changed so you can see now most of the things are in English and we can understand this now what we need to do is just run an OTA update system update over here and click on OK check new version first of all enable the Wi-Fi because uh, the system update will be large so disable your data connection and enable your Wi-Fi let me just go ahead and change the settings for the Wi-Fi set up my Wi-Fi I'm clicking on connect now it's connected to my Wi-Fi and now I'll update my system check for new version then just download the latest version of your firmware and it will take some while so after it's done just follow the procedure uh, procedure and it will complete its process and then you have you will have the latest version of Chinese firmware so after you have updated your firmware just go ahead and uh, watch my next video it will show you how to root this uh, mobile and how to root this uh, Chinese firmware and uh, how to install the clockwork mod recovery. So thanks a lot for watching this video. And